Imagine this, it's your first day at university and you show up to your lecture wearing a three-piece suit. You would probably feel a little bit out of place because I think we can all agree that the world has become very casual and that also means that many students are showing up to university wearing sweatpants. So how can you dress more elegant and classy in university without wearing a suit? That's a topic that a couple of you requested, including Nicholas, and I want to try my best to cover it in today's video. And I think the best way to approach this is to take all of the different parts of clothing, so footwear, trousers, shirts, knitwear and outerwear and on one end of the continuum you have the most casual but still acceptable items and on the other hand of the spectrum you have the most formal option and then basically you can decide which of those fit your style the most and which ones you feel the most comfortable with and you can mix and match them and move up the ladder to more formal options over time. And we're also going to look at a couple of outfits on Pinterest that I think fit very well with this topic. On the most casual end of the spectrum, you would have a pair of minimal sneakers. So there would be no logos, a very thin sole, and ideally it would be from leather or suede leather. Now, especially as a young guy, just wearing a nice pair of sneakers can really set you apart because most other students are probably going to be wearing some Nikes or some other trainers and just wearing a very minimal and elegant sneaker is really going to make a difference. And then moving up, another good option would be a yak loafer or it would be boat shoes. The next option would be loafers. They are a little bit more formal. And in my opinion, as a student, the the best option would probably be suede because it feels a little bit more modern and minimal and then other shoes that you definitely want especially if you live in a cold country would be a really nice pair of boots in my opinion the best choice would be chelsea boots but you could also go for chucker boots or dress boots all of them are going to be a little bit more formal but if you want to take it down a notch in formality you can again go for suede or you can also wear the broke version and then on the most formal end would be a pair of dress shoes i don't think as a student you would probably wear this too often but one thing that you could do is that you go for some broke shoes they have this extra texture and that just brings out the formality of the entire outfit just a little bit of course you don't need all of those shoes just pick a couple that you like and that you can start with if you look at trousers, then in my opinion, on the most casual end of the spectrum, you would have a pair of very minimal jeans, ideally without any fading and ideally in a dark color, because that's extremely versatile. You can wear it with many different sweaters and also with a very rugged safari jacket or sports coat. And even though it's very casual, a nice pair of jeans is already really going to set you apart from the other students. And then a little bit more formal, in my opinion, would be a pair of corduroy trousers. They're usually, of course, a little bit more heavy. So this is something for fall, spring and winter. And pretty Pretty much around the same level of formality but mostly for summertime would be a nice pair of linen trousers for summertime in my opinion i think almost nothing is better than linen trousers they are extremely breathable and comfortable but because of the texture that they have and because they usually get a little bit wrinkled it means that they're also not as formal and then a little bit more formal but an absolute wardrobe staple would definitely be a pair of chinos and in my opinion i think the best colors would be either a light sand color or you could also go for navy green or gray all of those colors are very versatile and chinos are also usually quite affordable. Even more formal than this would be a nice pair of flannel trousers, which are absolutely fantastic for wintertime. For corduroy or flannel trousers, I would probably go for gray, brown or navy. And then the most formal option, of course, would be a pair of nice wool trousers. And depending on how thick they are, you can wear them in summertime or wintertime. And gray would probably be the most versatile option in this case. Moving up to shirts, I think the most common shirt that you're going to see in class is probably some kind of graphic tee or it's going to be oversized t-shirts. So that's why on the most casual end of the spectrum, you're going to have a very minimal and nicely fitting t-shirt. Because especially when you're young, this is a very good all-rounder. And if you combine it with a sports jacket or a safari jacket, it can still look very elegant, but more on the casual level. And a minimal well-fitting t-shirt can fit with all of the pants from before. And moving up the ladder would be a nice minimal polo shirt. More formal than a regular polo shirt would be a long sleeve polo shirt and then a little bit more formal than that would be button down shirts or you could also go for some linen shirts or any type of casual shirt and of course on the most formal end would be dress shirts that are always meant to be tucked in when you wear them if we look at jackets, in my opinion, one of the best ways nowadays as a young student to really dress up, but not too far, is to wear a really nice looking overshirt or safari jacket, because both of them are very elegant, but they are a little bit more casual than a regular sports coat. And there are so many good examples of this look, which I'm going to show later in the video. More formal than that, of course, would be a sports jacket. For me personally, if I would go back to university, I would probably stick more to the overshirt or safari jacket part. But if you feel comfortable and if it's something that you really like, then you can also go for a sports coat. And with a sports coat again the more texture and the more patterns it has and also of course the lighter the color the more casual it is and sports jacket in a dark color and a solid color are usually more on the formal end 
When it comes to knitwear, you have many different options. And one of my favorite ones is for sure the turtleneck because it's such a versatile piece and almost everybody looks good in it. Turtlenecks are also a really great way to dress down a sports jacket or safari jacket. Another really good option would be a half zip sweater. In my opinion, for students, it would be a better choice than a v-neck sweater because I think that a v-neck sweater can look a little bit too formal and it can also make you look older. And the same, in my opinion, is true for cardigans. I really like cardigans, but I think if you're 18 or 19 years old, it can really make you look a little bit older. And then other options would be, of course, a crew neck sweater because you can also just wear this with a t-shirt underneath or you can also go for a polo neck sweater. With all of those, if they're minimal and they fit you well and they look high quality, you're definitely going to be one of the best dressed students in university. For outerwear, you also have many different options. Of course, for the transitional period or also for winter, you can go for different types of jackets. On the more casual end would be puff jackets. But if you move up a little bit, I think a really good option would also be a wax jacket because it's extremely versatile. You can wear it with jeans. You can also wear it with dress pants. It's always going to look great. Another jacket that can look fantastic is a suede jacket. But this is something, especially if it's in real suede, that can be really expensive. One thing that you might also need, especially if you live in a really cold country, would be a nice down jacket or a nice down coat. If they are minimal and they look high quality, they can actually be pretty elegant. And then on the more formal end, I think everybody should have at least one really nice looking wool coat or maybe also a trench coat if you need something for the transitional period where it's raining a lot. But I think a wool coat is something that looks absolutely fantastic. So those were all of the different options for the different categories. And in my opinion, you can choose and pick pretty much any of those. You can mix and match them quite well, especially if you stick to more darker tones and to minimal designs. Then they are very, very versatile. And if you stick to them, then you're definitely going to be one of the best dressed students out there. But until now, it was a little bit theoretical. So I think we should probably go to Pinterest and take a look at a couple of outfits. I made a Pinterest board where I saved a couple of outfits that I like and also a couple that I saved as a bad example. And many of them are all across the spectrum from casual to a little bit more formal. And if you just take a general overlook at these, you can see that all of them are quite minimal. They are all in a little bit darker colors and there's no logos at all. But let's start with this photo right here, for example, from from Simon Crompton from Permanent Style. I mentioned earlier that a sports jacket can be pretty formal for university, but if you look at this look here from Permanent Style, I think the way he does it is absolutely excellent because he wears a dark pair of jeans. He also wears dark brown shoes in suede, which also again are a little bit more casual. And because he's wearing a little bit more of a thick end and textured sports jacket, this creates a really nice looking casual outfit. But again, I think for university, this is something, even though it looks quite casual and in my opinion, it looks fantastic, you might stand out quite a bit just because sports jackets are not the most common thing that you see at university. If you want to go the more casual route, I think a safari jacket or an overshirt can fit very, very well. And I think this photo here by Luca Falloni is also a good example of what I mentioned earlier with the half zip. He's wearing a denim shirt underneath the half zip and it's a very minimal look. And in my opinion, compared to wearing a v-neck sweater, it's just much more modern and really good for younger guys. And the same thing with this look, it doesn't look too stiff. It just looks quite minimal and elegant. And here you can also see how it would look like with a polo neck sweater. With this type of sweater, you can also just wear a t-shirt. Again, it looks a little bit less formal than wearing a v-neck sweater. And this right here, in my opinion at least, is something that you might want to avoid. And I know that this guy is a very big fashion influencer and he's also quite young. He's experimenting around. I'm not really trying to bash his outfit at all. The only thing I'm saying is that the topic of this video is how to dress more classy at university. And in my opinion, what you want to avoid in that case is oversized clothes. Especially if they're vintage clothes, then they can make you look quite old school. This right here is kind of the opposite example. In my opinion, I think the pants are a little bit too tight. And also one thing that you want to avoid if you wear a v-neck sweater, at least in my humble opinion, would be that the shirt sticks out from underneath the sweater. In my opinion, I think it just looks a little bit messy and it's not the best look. And here we have the same guy again. I'm sorry. I know that this is his style. He likes it a little bit more vintage and a little bit oversized. But again, if you go this route and you buy clothes and you want to look more elegant, maybe you also want to look more classy for a potential employer, then you probably want to avoid wearing coats that are way too big in the arms and the shoulders. Make sure that everything fits you quite well, that it's not too tight and that it's not too oversized. This right here is another good example of this. The coat is absolutely beautiful, but for this guy, I think it's just a little bit too large. If we take a look, for example, again at Simon here from Permanent Style, I mean, this is an excellent look. It's still somewhere between formal and casual because he's wearing a turtleneck under a coat. And I mean, the coat is just incredible. It's also from the anthology. So this is not a cheap coat, but something 
at least kind of similar if you look on the vintage market you might be able to find some nice coats because as you saw earlier from the other younger guys they had some really nice coats they were only a little bit too large so just keep looking and you're probably going to be able to find a really nice coat and this is an outfit that i think would look really good to university and that would really set you apart from the rest i think this one right here is also a really good example of dressing down a sports jacket because as you can see he's wearing nice flannel trousers i think he's wearing a kind of half neck sweater i don't think it's a t-shirt but it has a similar look and feel to a t-shirt and it basically brings down the formality of the entire outfit this is another really good example from luca faloni and it's not a half zip it's actually a full zip sweater and just some navy cheese knows a nice light blue shirt this is a very smart casual outfit and i think this would really work well for university and as i mentioned earlier safari jackets or sports jackets work really well as you can see for example in this corduroy jacket here from ralph lauren of course this one is incredibly expensive but you can find something similar on the budget but it just goes to show you that if you wear a corduroy field jacket or safari jacket like this over a turtleneck for example or even over a t-shirt or crew neck sweater it's a pretty interesting casual look that's not as formal as wearing a sports jacket in this case i think this look right here is another really good example for a more younger approach because he's wearing a nice sports jacket with a check and you can also see that it has a little bit more of a thicker texture underneath again a nice dark brown turtleneck and then some chinos and in this case even some high quality dark brown sneakers that work together with the brown turtleneck and especially because of the sneakers this makes it a quite casual outfit but at university this would still be a very very classy and elegant outfit and right here you have more of a summer example in summertime normally we don't have as many options so in this case, you can see just wearing a simple polo shirt and a chino. Of course, in this case, it's a Gurkha trouser, which is a little bit more fancy. But but if you just wear cream color chino trousers and a polo shirt, it's going to be a very minimal but elegant look. This is another really good outfit, in my opinion. Light gray flannel trousers, a turtleneck. And I think this is probably a field jacket or safari jacket in flannel as well. So really good for winter days. And this is a look that I think is quite modern and minimal. And it works really well, even if you're around 18, 19 years old. This right here is also a bit more of a bold look i think it's an absolutely fantastic look but it's something that would stick out quite a bit at university so it's a summer look that you have to decide if you're comfortable wearing something like this this right here is another example of what you want to avoid so basically he has some really skinny jeans in a very light color and they're also ripped and on top he has a shirt and a crew neck sweater which is kind of semi-formal but then combined with the really skinny and the ripped and the light color jeans i think this kind of destroys the entire outfit and it makes it look a little bit cheap so try to avoid ripped jeans and go for dark colored ones and this right here is another really good example for summertime so it's a green safari jacket and a dress shirt and a pair of chinos and of course you can just switch out the dress shirt for a polo shirt or for a t-shirt if you want to bring down the formality a little bit but it just goes to show you that an overshirt or a safari jacket works really well in this case and here we have another outfit for really warm summer days because basically of course you skip the overshirt you skip the safari jacket and you just go for a linen shirt and then either some chinos or linen trousers and then you can go for some loafers you can go for sneakers or in this case some yak loafers and something that works quite well also for younger guys in my opinion is just going for a little bit more of a monochromatic look something like a dark brown or navy or gray would work quite well and this look right here again in my opinion is a little bit more of an elevated casual style and it's quite modern quite young but you're definitely going to look a lot better than the average student so those were a couple of outfits that i personally really liked and that i could see myself wearing if i would go back to university i would love to hear which ones you liked the most and as i mentioned and in the beginning i also wanted to quickly address budget because again i mean most of us as students we don't really have a lot of money to spend so that's why i would recommend you to buy secondhand clothes not only because they are extremely affordable but also for the price that you pay you're also going to get much higher quality and in the case of wool coats or sports jackets you can also find some very unique pieces i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel and see you next time and if you want to learn about the best brands for the quiet luxury look then click on this video right here